Good morning, David Kern here with the CDS Morning Debrief this Thursday the 21st of April. So uh, just uh, going to be winding in this afternoon to the, uh, the Easter holiday break as well as the uh, Anzac Day uh, public holiday on Tuesday. So uh, um, local market's going to be closed for all of those days. So uh, sort of expect a reasonably uh, subdued uh, lead into the into the break here. Although having said that, I noticed that the futures, which we'll look at here in a second, are uh, suggesting a pretty strong uh, push up, and uh, it's probably not really all that surprising given that the Dow uh, had a 186 move up last night, 1.52%. Um, just with regards to overseas leads, we'll have uh, the US markets closed for Good Friday, so tomorrow, um, but then they'll be back. Uh, back to business on Monday morning. Uh, other major markets, uh, or the Nikkei at least, uh, doesn't uh, cease trading during the, uh, the Easter holiday period, so uh, there will still be trading going on there, and uh, Forex markets will, uh, of course, uh, be, be trading throughout in uh, the regions where the uh, banks haven't uh, closed their doors. Um, so what was the cause of that push-up last night? Well, apparently uh, the US housing sales uh, for March um, were, were, were a bit better than expected. Uh, the yearly rate of around 5 million was what was anticipated, but the uh, number came in at 5.1, uh, which is about a 3.7% increase. So this sort of suggests that uh, buyers are being lured by the, uh, the some of this uh, foreclosure pricing that uh, we're seeing a lot of, on a lot of housing stock. Um, saw a headline the other day that said uh, it's the most affordable in 40 years, so uh, uh, clearly that's got some people coming back in, but uh, still has a very, very long way to go. Um, but I guess it's uh, seen as uh, it's pretty encouraging news. Um, so yeah, certainly a pretty big turnaround there on, on, the, uh, on the US markets. Um, the NASDAQ had, uh, had one of its uh, best uh, days of the, uh, of the year. Uh, up 2.14% uh, or uh, 57 points. Uh, part of this was with uh, Apple and Qualcomm rising. Uh, looks like uh, pe people are really wanting to take a stake in a lot of the smartphone um, manufacturers, uh, amongst others. Um, so we'll move on. Um, rest of the Americas all up in line with the, uh, the major US uh, forces there. Over Europe, much the same picture. Really, really big move up on the DAX, uh, 2.98, uh, CAC 2.46, and the FTSE 2.13. So it seems that uh, a lot of this uh, European debt uh, concern, again, is uh, just pushed to one side, and uh, it's back to the party as far as uh, uh, traders and investors are concerned. So uh, pretty amazing what a day or two will make. Um, to our region, yesterday the Nikkei ended up closing up 165 points, the Hang Seng up 375, and uh, we just uh, opened up stronger and just uh, throughout the day just got stronger and stronger and stronger, so that we we're up 65 points, so uh, quite impressive that. Uh, the SPY is pointing up 47 at the moment, as I say, I'm sort of being inclined to think that some of that enthusiasm will be tempered throughout the day as we go into this, uh, uh, what is it, five five-day uh, holiday. Uh, Hang Seng up 4.45 and the Nikkei up 80. Take a look now at the uh, commodity space and you can see that uh, Brent was up uh, up quite strongly, up $2.52, um, but we didn't see that sort of uh, same sort of movement with uh, West Texas. Maybe that's because of the uh, uh, big inventory builds that we, uh, we saw recorded on uh, earlier in the week, I think I had a made of those, maybe I don't. Um, so yeah, West Texas at $111.39. Uh, I know that uh, the view across the desk here at the uh, time uh, is that uh, we really should start to see that um, uh, come off here. Um, maybe that's a question of uh, not if, but when. And uh, We'll, uh, we'll see uh, if uh, we prove to be right there. Uh, natural gas uh, continuing to consolidate or build on this consolidation that we've, that we've had here previously. Now $4.31, so it's looking 
okay at the moment. Uh, other big movers in the um, uh, soft space were um, uh, coffee up 177, cocoa up 127, uh, orange juice up 134, and sugar a big mover there 4.02, uh, rough rice 1.46, and soy oil 1.08. Uh, as far as moves to the downside, looks like corn 2.18, cotton 2.40 were the standouts there with oats down 1.61. Uh, copper moving up again 1.1 cent to the uh, to the upside. That's uh, now 4.37. Um, didn't really expect to see that recover quite quite as quickly as it has. Um, uh, there you go. Uh, gold. Still uh, holding uh, 1500 here, so um, sometimes expect that uh, seeing a big figure like that, you can see a little bit of a retracement or a correction, but uh, uh, we'll see. Uh, 45, 20 is silver, that's uh, 73, and uh, that just uh, just keeps on going. Uh, 50 is starting to look like a uh, pretty realistic scenario here, the way that's trading at the moment. But uh, don't be long when it decides to uh, to change, uh, change course because it will uh, very likely come off big time. Okay, at least that's, uh, that's our view. Uh, now to our currencies, Euro buying 1.4518 uh, US dollars. It's a bit of a move, uh, a strong move there by the Euro. Um, not reflected in these figures uh, which are uh, working off this morning's moves. Uh, the pound at uh, one rather buying 1.6398, uh, the US dollar buying 82.5670, and I can see here that we may have a issue with our audio, and I'll just see why that's happening here. Okay, it's saying it's recording, um, it looks like we might have a network contempt connection issue there, so I do apologise if this breaks up somewhere along the way. Um, so look, I'll move on uh, through the rest of the currencies. Uh, the Aussie now buying 1.0689, so um, the buying there for uh, going out to the States just keeps getting better. The uh, US dollar is buying 95.26 Canadian and 0.8885 Swiss francs. Uh, let's take a quick look at the economic calendar. Uh, that was the House price index numbers that we can see there that came out. Um, sorry, that's house price, not house sales. Uh, so that hasn't actually come out yet. Uh, the US Philadelphia Fed, expectation for 36, previous 43. Um, leading indicators, RPX Composite and uh, com RPX com Complex Composite. 28 day year on year. And then a uh, bunch of data out from Europe, mostly French, uh, through this afternoon, or sorry, tomorrow afternoon, and retail sales. And just come up here a bit, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, because of course it is not Friday, it is Thursday. Okay, so that was the print for the existing home sales, 5.1 million versus 5 million expected. That's what uh, got everyone uh, pretty, pretty keen there. And then the uh, US inventories coming in, or gasoline, uh, at 15, uh, 1.5 million. And uh, refinery, refinery utilisation at 1.1. Later on today, we've got some New Zealand data out and some produced price index numbers out locally at 11.30, so that'll be one to watch. And RBA foreign exchange transaction numbers, credit card spending out of New Zealand, a little bit of Japanese data there. Finally, some Swiss numbers into the UK with some month-on-month -month retail sales figures. So I'm going to leave it there in light of those little technical hiccups and uh, wish everyone a happy Easter and uh, good trading in the meantime and I'll be, the desk will be open here on Tuesday. 
Um, so if there's any issues, uh, give us a call here on the, on the desk. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you again uh, next week.